Why do you want to be jumping around because you did 20k? What is 20k? Do you know that people that have been on YouTube for 6 years and they're still on 1k? Listen, stability is something that we're going to talk about on this channel this year 2022 because we need stability in our lives. Hi guys. Hello guys. So today's video is going to be toxic traits. So my toxic traits that I had to give up at the beginning of my level up journey to be able to, you know, live a better life and as well as kickstart my journey. Because like I told you guys earlier, starting your level up journey, you have to attack so many areas of your life that you've been avoiding for years. You have to attack every single area of your life that you've probably neglected for so long. I've listed them out like on my notepad as per usual, but I'm going to run through them with you today. I don't know, I feel a bit embarrassed. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed, but you guys. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to say it as it is and in coming videos I'm going to expose myself in so many ways and if you know me you probably agree to everything that I'm saying because trust me I know and knowing is a good thing because you know what areas need to be amended and fixed in your life and you actively try to fix it which is progress. I just feel a bit weird talking about it because obviously I'm talking about myself this is not just like a general advice to you guys so that's the reason why I feel weird but generally I would, <laughs> I would embrace it. Without further ado let's just jump right into the video because you guys we have a lot to talk about. Now let's start easy. <laughs> the first toxic trait, the first part of my life that needed to be amended was that part of my life where I kept making excuses in one of my videos oh actually the first video that i made about the three things that i gave up um to live a better life to start my you know level up journey i talked about overthinking talked about fear i talked about comfortability right i made excuses for literally everything <laughs> if you know me you're probably like nodding your head off to what i just said i speak excuses in two ways that are actually toxic and if you're this person i'm letting you know that it's toxic excuses for myself and excuses for other people so i'll make excuses for myself in terms of like okay um the reason why i really cannot do something uh when in reality i'm just being lazy <laughs> or excuses why i cannot embark on a new journey when in reality i'm just scared right now excuses for other people would be like okay when someone is actually treating me a certain type of way i know they're treating me bad i know i deserve more i know i need to do better but there's this part of me that is so toxic that i begin to make excuses for them and then see honestly this is so bad because um I'm gonna say this to you guys i would make excuses for them because i feel like i'm a lot to handle sometimes this is in every aspect of my life this is dating this is friendship this is being a daughter being a sister being everything or anything to anyone right i would make excuses okay the reason why they acted this way towards me is because okay i'm sad about it i'm hurt about it but it's just because maybe i'm actually a lot to handle i have wine you guys so i'll be drinking and chatting with you guys as per usual you guys you guys know i do this sometimes so i'll be like okay maybe the reason why they're acting the way they're acting to me is because i'm i'm a lot to handle sometimes i come off too strong so this is so bad because i hand out passes to people that do not actually deserve it and that's just the truth so i didn't realize this was a thing until no one actually called me called it out to me oh. <laughs> no one did oh i actually sat down and thought about it because when i got that awakening that i spoke to you guys about in that previous video it was a thing where i was just like i need to attack different areas just looking at my life and also how i react to the way people treat me or the way people talk to me or just basically how people are in my life i need to attack every area and this was part of it as well and it was a major part because this is one of the reasons why i had so many toxic relationships and so many toxic friendships i need to realize that people make decisions by themselves if they want to do something is because they actually did want to do it. it's not because you triggered them to do it and i mean in some cases it's justified because your approach could trigger someone's response right but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a situation where someone is just a terrible person but then you're trying to excuse their behavior just because you think you can be a feisty or you know a hot-headed person like i am because i know that i have this 
trait of mine that I'm a bit hot-headed and feisty and like you know I, I'm in your face <laughs> so I, I sometimes I use that to excuse bad behavior from people I try to you know rationalize so many things in my head which is so bad and if you're that person I would advise to not do that because you constantly will hurt yourself I can tell you that for sure you'd constantly be in that position where you compromise and then you also sell yourself short in so many ways always try to identify the problem and call people out for their bullshit and if they're not listening to you or making changes then you walk out of their lives and that's just the truth there's pretty much nothing else you can do for someone who has made a decision to not be a good person to you point back period the second toxic trait of mine that i really had to call out and let go of is saying yes now this is not that type of saying yes to everybody i'm not a people pleaser never been a people pleaser like i said i have a voice of my own i've always had a voice of my own well not this but i'm that kind of person that i stand strongly by what i believe in what i want to do is what i want to do sometimes it'll be a good thing sometimes can also be a bad thing my friends know that sometimes i could be <laughs> too much i didn't know that i was that person because of the kind of person that i am and that's the reason why i keep trying to let you guys know that sometimes you might not think that this applies to you because you think you're a certain way but you actually do these things yes i actually did have a problem with saying no i don't like to make people feel bad and i don't like to put people in that type of sad situation where they feel rejected do you get or neglected and i don't i just don't want to be that person do you get so sometimes i have to shrink myself or compromise in ways that I know that would hurt me to be able to accommodate them. Sis, in some ways, you could do that. If you love someone, you care about them. There is this part of you that a compromise and you know shrinking yourself just a little bit to accommodate them is necessary in all ways because obviously we're different humans like different people we have different characters we have different you know needs and understanding and wants and all that stuff so to be able to properly understand the person that you're dealing with if you care about them enough you have to kind of like shrink yourself a little bit or like compromise bring yourself to a level where you understand them that is good but that's not what I'm talking about. Me, my own is in every situation whatsoever. I just had a problem with saying no, even when I'm dying inside. So I didn't really think that was a thing for me until I looked into it properly. Oh, this one, I have canceled it completely. Like if I don't feel good, I don't feel good. If I don't want to be there at that particular time with whoever it is that's there, I'm not going to do it. I'm not shrinking or squeezing myself to that extent for anybody. Sometimes you need to be a little selfish, a lot selfish if I'm being honest, to be able to be happy and live the best life for yourself. Because sometimes people don't really get the point you're coming from, people don't really get your journey. So when you do things, they don't really understand. That's the reason why it's your journey. So however you intend to carry it, sis, carry it like that and that's exactly what i'm doing i'm putting overthinking into this because a major toxic trait of mine i'm not going to touch on it too much because i've touched on it previously and i intend to make like an elaborate video about overthinking and especially mine but to be honest it is toxic i have basically gone above and beyond just because my thoughts directed me to do so and at the end of the day when i got to the final point there was nothing there every time i talk about anything that i worked on extensively i'm telling you right now i will keep repeating overthinking because i am still working on it and i'm going to be honest with you it is not easy because it's every aspect of my life overthinking has sucked and drained i'm telling you let's name it financially dating especially career especially even myself even the personal the, the most little thing overthinking has just crept in one way and tried to snatch it away from me so which is something that i always i talk about and i'm going to keep talking about on this channel you guys I, <laughs> oh because overthinking has done me bad thing hey i the fourth toxic trait of mine that is a thing and if you're my friend or somebody in my life you literally are, you're about to hug the screen right now <laughs> that's ghosting and communication they go hand in hand ghosting and communication problems 
and you would think that for someone who talks so highly of these things or someone who actually understands and i've actually made videos about communication and ghosting before i'm able to only talk about these things because i have experienced it i have been a victim and also a villain in the situation mainly a villain in the situation and with ghosting i am the queen of ghosting i used to be actually i used to be the queen of ghosting i used to be the queen of bad communication i know what's funny about the communication part i actually thought i was so good at communication <laughs> Like, you know, that kind of thing where you're just like, you're giving everyone heat for not being good at communication. You're advising, you're talking. In my case, like I'll sit my partner down and have a conversation about, you know, the, I was terrible. You don't have to be something to me for me to ghost you. I just sometimes feel like it's the best way I'm able to deal with things mentally, which to be honest, it could be. Now, I've come to realize that when you do that, you hurt a lot of people. And I have made a whole video about ghosting versus orbiting. That's because I have a better understanding about these things, all right? So if you've not seen that video, I'm also going to link that in the description box below. Editing Lucy, please put this in the description box because sometimes you can be a mad woman. The only reason why I'm able to talk about some certain things is because I've been there, done that, scraped it off the list, have better understanding and knowledge about it, and then I'm putting it forward for you guys. Uh, let me just be honest with you. I'm picky. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. I'm picky. I'm picky about um who i spend my time with who i sh see every single moment with because of how i am everyone knows me see you can literally ask my friends i'm usually the i'm the worst person to contact in fact they used to say you cannot put lucy on your emergency list <laughs> it's funny but it's actually not funny because it's a terrible thing because i'm usually by myself i'm usually to myself that's why i get so mad when i give my time to someone and the person doesn't seem to understand or appreciate that this is not normal like it is not just normal for me to be texting and calling you like this so it pisses me off but this is not to glorify that bad behavior because it's actually a bad behavior that's something i needed to attack because i was hurting a lot of people that i cared about and the thing is i wasn't ghosting because i didn't care about them it was just a bad habit i'm still working on that i'm a lot better than i was before um, now I know how to pick calls and respond to messages and you know also reciprocate call back and stuff like that This is something that I really need to put out there because you really don't know how much you're hurting the people that Genuinely care about you just because you're being too selfish. That's what it is You're being too selfish to just like you're just owning your space too much that you're pushing people away Another toxic thing that I really needed to attack was taking on too much that I could actually handle and to be honest, I know a lot of people face this. Previously, I would think that if I don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things to do at the same time, then I'm not doing anything. I'm not being productive. I'm not being active. I'm not successful at anything. Do you get what I mean? Which is toxic. You could literally have one thing that you're doing. You're focusing your energy on that, on that thing and it could produce yield positive results than the one billion things you're trying to divide yourself to do i just felt like i needed to push myself i need to be hustling and bustling and doing so many things at the same time since literally at the same time you know what that would do for me i'd probably maybe be successful at some of the things maybe just one two three four but for the most part i wouldn't get like the full potential from all those things that i'm pushing myself to do at once and that's exactly what i didn't realize until i started portioning my time properly understanding planning st stabilizing myself listen stability is something that we're going to talk about on this channel this year 2022 because we need stability in our lives i am that one person that i have never understood how stability makes you as a human being flourish be a better person until my level of journey began and honestly i didn't even know how hard it was to have a stable life until my entire journey and that's something i'm going to speak to you guys about in 2022 stability so having that okay you could be doing one billion things touching on this and the third but not actually doing anything i didn't think that was a thing i didn't know that was a thing you could have four businesses five businesses six businesses and still be broke and still not be doing anything with your life i had to sit back and understand that it's not how far but how well you do something my mom used to always say this thing to me 
and I'll just be like, one of those things that she says. I would try to push myself. I would try to do so many things so that it would feel like I'm actually hustling. I'm busting. That would actually be my motivation because I'm dabbling into this, doing this, dragging this, doing that. Doing. Now I am just relaxed. And I'm seeing more results than when I was juggling so much at one go. Can you believe that? So it doesn't matter how much you're doing or how many things, projects you embark on. What matters is how much work, how much effort, motivation, and focus you're putting into those projects to yield something good. You need to sit down and ask yourself, having a hair business, eyelash business, nail business, whatever, all of it together is that what you really need or could you put all that energy into just doing the eyelash and you make more money from the eyelash than juggling all business together i just had to ask myself questions yes i do have passion for all the things that i am dabbling into but why are you not succeeding the way that you want to succeed in all these things it's because you're divided there is no stability there is no plan there is no focus it's pretty much nothing you're just dabbling dabbling touching touching doing doing and that's not yielding anything for you the last thing i'm going to touch on is one of the most important things in this video that i feel like is so toxic about myself now this is basically not giving myself credit or accolade for how far i have come or basically not just rewarding myself i always would push myself too hard to the point where i'm just like yeah you tick this out of the box but your mates are doing better <laughs> that is so toxic and then it's just like yeah you've gotten to this point you have crossed this milestone but is that all you can do you know that 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 push like that constant push you keep pushing yourself pushing yourself pushing yourself you're not stopping for a second to, to pat yourself at the back and be like good job lucy good job i never i'm telling you you guys it's so bad i never gave myself credit or a pat on the back for a job well done now <laughs> don't even play with me because i could literally plan a whole solo party for myself because i hit a milestone or basically because i perfected a recipe i can throw myself a party it's because i cannot come and die listen you don't know how far you've come you don't appreciate your progress the major reason you don't do that is because you're using someone else's clock you're using someone else's timeline you're looking at other people's progress to, to calculate yours which is so toxic and that's something that I would do I would say okay I've crossed for instance with YouTube 20k but your mates are doing 50k why do you want to be jumping around because you did 20k what is 20k do you know that people that have been on YouTube for six years and they're still on 1k I didn't used to think about that I used to just think about you need to do better you need to do better you need to do better you need to, and i'll keep pushing myself pushing myself stretching myself just giving myself unnecessary headache over and over and over again i didn't know i was doing this until my level of journey trust me so many things that i read so many things that i listened to so many things that i watched taught me a whole lot to be where i am today and honestly i am grateful because i look back at my life where i started and where i am right now which by by all means is not perfect i'm not 100 percent like you know happy and good and stuff like that but just like i'm just like you did that you did all that and you should be happy you should be grateful you should be celebrating yourself every single day of your life every chance you get i mean if not for anything look at how you look right now and let's put a picture side by side where you look like and uh, let me not even say the word <laughs> there is difference you did this and when i started doing that huh, the game changed <clears throat> i'll celebrate everything self-love came into play take myself out you know spoil myself a little bit dinner date by myself dress up be cute and just appreciate myself give myself praises and all that stuff take pictures you know edit it post it that kind of thing and you know shower myself queen beauty all that i started doing all that when my level up journey started which is so sad uh, i'm gonna leave you guys here i'm gonna stop here because i feel like the video is already long as it is and i have a lot more to say to be honest because i have much more of like toxic sides that i had to attack 
if you want a part two of this video just let me know i'll do a part two of this video we'll talk more uh in depth about these things and i'll expose myself more if you'd like to hear but anyway follow me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram i'll link the videos that i talked about in this video in the description box below so if you'd like to watch them and catch up with them they'll be in the description box below thank you thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will definitely see you in my next one bye